Okay, guys. Um, three days after David Doe announced he's going to start a Bitcoin company, um, fair, um, <laughs> Central Bank of Nigeria got scared. I guess what they decided to ban crypto, right? So now this is a whole bunch of fake news. First of all, you can't ban crypto. Secondly, you hear stuff like uh, maybe uh, Central Bank wants to ban it because Yahoo boys use a lot of crypto. Um, Central Bank wants to ban it because of these because of that and that and this okay now first of all i'm going to show okay when you guys watch this video i'm going to put a link in the description all right so there's a video after this one which i'm going to make i'm going to show you guys the real true the new regulation about cryptocurrencies in nigeria and guess what that regulation has been going on for the past four months now but nobody notices it except if you're deep into crypto and deep into online transactions you will understand hi guys you're welcome to my channel make sure if you've subscribed make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe right now and um yeah it's the bell notification button so each time i upload a video you'll be the first person to get there to to get it so now um i want to break down what's going on why uh, crypto can't be banned and what's the central bank trying to do all right so um i have i don't want to go into details i'm just going to say it you can make your research right so i don't want to go i don't want to make this video much more lengthy and um because I, if you want a lengthy one i'm going to explain everything in my webinar class and um, there's a link in the description it's always sundays just download your zoom app it's always sundays at 8 p.m right sundays at 8 p.m nigerian time all right so now i have this stuff on my screen i'm going to use it as my marker board i'm going to explain to you what's happening so first of all if you understand the fact that um, cryptocurrency is decentralized you get to know that um, nobody can touch it if you understand what if you read the satoshi's um, white paper you understand nobody can touch it and now if you want to place a bet right now i'm going to place a bet of 300 dollars i'm serious about this right comment in, in, in the comment i'm going to place, place a bet of 300 dollars i'm going to pay you in um BTC. In the next two months, we're going to wait if CBN is going to really um, ban this stuff. Now, they'll come up with something they call regulation. That regulation, you guys are going to be like, uh, uh, um, what going on? What is really going on? Now, with $300, I want to stake $300. So, and um, I want somebody out there to come up with its own $300 and let's bet because this is not going to happen. All right. So now these guys are scared. These guys are buying crypto. These guys know exactly what they're doing. Now I want you to Google, um, um, I want you to Google 2020. So Google, let's, let's do this. Let's do this together. Let's do this together, guys. Nigerian crypto conference in Dubai. All right, guys. So now, once you go to Nigeria Crypto Con uh, Conference in Dubai and click on images, I'm going to show you what these big guys are doing. Now you can see this is UAE. All right. So this is this is UAE. Nigerians are represented in um, in Dubai, but that one doesn't have a lot of information. Then I'm going to show you something. You also see this guy right here. He's in Dubai, also presenting. Bitcoin, the presenting Nigerian government um, talking about Bitcoin in Nigeria. This is article in the um, um, GTEx 2020 exhibition talking about Bitcoin. Also, um, there's this other one I want you guys to see. You can do, you can dig deep and uh, you know do your research and see uh, what's happening, guys. So I'm going to show you this one. It's very funny. Um, happened um, um, late last year. There's an exhibition in Dubai because every year um, the UAE government um, brings uh, different um, delegates from different countries and let them talk about how they can actually um, support each other in in Dubai. So you can see right here, you can see this man with Agbada right here, another man with, come on guys, I don't need this, another man with Agbada right here. And you can see this is Nigerian um um old mascot and all of that in dubai talking about bitcoin the same bitcoin they tell you guys they want to ban so they can't ban this stuff number one i need to explain to you guys the um the fact that they can ban it and what do they mean by payment what do they mean by payment systems all right so now first of all i'm always saying this to all my students before wallet like luno all right lo, 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 um, wallet like um, patricia 
wallet like um, Roku. These are the three popular centralized wallets in uh, in Nigeria. That is really big. Uh, we advise you guys. I'm not trying to spoil business for anybody. These are exchanges, all right? They are not wallets. So what is exchange? What is wallet? So exchange is the marketplace. Why wallet is the storeroom, all right? So now when you buy from the marketplace, you take it here. And when you store it, when you, when you store in it and you need it, um, you need to sell it. They take it to the marketplace. So don't store your Bitcoin in Patricia app. Now, if you have listened to this video and you went on, keep storing your Bitcoin in Luna Patricia app and all that and stuff like this app, they won't be able to pay you. But Binance, but Binance, I repeat, Binance is going to pay you. I also made a video about withdrawing from Binance on the 6th. No, on the 5th of um, February 2021, just after um, um, CBN announced the so-called ban. And um, I also did a transaction on Binance. So use a decentralized wallet called like Binance. Binance is a decentralized wallet. And we thank God so much. Binance is more Nigerian friendly. Most of these wallets out there that are decentralized are not really, really Nigerian friendly. All right. So a lot of people are saying they're going to use your KYC to track you now kyc means know your client right so kyc belongs to kyc is ordered by the federal government but it is kyc know your client and uh, it's ordered by the nigerian government but it is being operated by the middleman like the crypto exchangers right so it's been um by the middleman like crypto exchangers like um for example um, um binance for example uh, patricia app so whenever it has to do with money we and banks and your cards you need to do kyc it means know your client that means you have to snap your pictures all right you have to snap your pictures you have to snap um you have to um, give them your bvn or your valid id so they want to compare if you do you're the one giving these bank details I don't want to know if you're the one giving his bank details. So they will only pay to this bank details relating to your BVN or your valid ID. So they want to know you. So right now, Nigerian government do not have the, your KYC. They don't have your profile. The same Nigerian government that have asked you to do NIM four times, to, for, that have asked you to register your, re register your SIM card four times in the past five years. These guys don't have your details. Only bodies, only bodies like bank have your BVN. Only bodies like um, in, um, Nigerian immigration have your passport information. There is no central data in Nigeria that covers everything. So one of the reasons why they want you guys to do your name, let me just get there. One of the reasons why they want you guys to do your name is the fact that we tormented them during the NSAS protest. So this time around, they want to really control everybody. So when they see you post some jubilee stuff online they can just shut down your number and um, make sure they shut down that number and you won't be able to get back get another scene so these are some of the crazy ideas man it's crazy being an nigerian guys i'm sorry to say that so but um you really need to understand all this stuff and really need to know where you stand so i just explained kyc the nigerian government can't use your kyc and guess what now, um, um, your information is safe, especially with Binance. There's a place in Binance and um, Terms and Condition where they say your, C your KYC cannot be shared to any outside body, including the government, guys. Go read your Terms and Condition and see what you're gambling into. So, I recommend Binance. I've been recommending Binance for a long time. If you check my YouTube channel, you're going to see a lot of Binance information. And if you need a link to subscribe to register to Binance because you just want to appreciate this information you just said, of course, the link is in the description below. And once you do that, you get 10% kickback of every commission they take from you. So, all right, guys, um, next thing you need to understand is the core, the what is uh what when they say the cryptocurrency is decentralized so now there's what we call the white paper the satoshi white paper i'm going to open a new um i'm going to open a new and search for coin market cap coin market cap so now if you click on coin market cap all right this is where we look at um cryptocurrency so now we have this in, in we have stuff like this for wall streets for all the shares and all of that so but those ones are manipulated this is bitcoin 
You can't manipulate everything. There's what we call source code. Everybody can see what's going on. Every programmer can just bring this source code and see what's going on. So now there's a source code for Bitcoin. You can see what, what it says here, source code. Now if you click on this source code, it's going to take you to a website. But I'm, I want to click on white paper. This white paper is established by Satoshi. And it was last edited in 2010. And ever since then, nobody has touched it till date. So whatever problem Bitcoin we have in the future, Satoshi has already visualized it and made a programs out there. So example of that is Bitcoin Lightning. So the big fees you're seeing on Bitcoin is going to reduce so, 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 so much by the end of this year. That because of Bitcoin Lightning. Now, I advise you guys to, you know, download this PDF stuff. I'm going to put a link and also you can download this PDF stuff and go through Satoshi White Paper. Then you'll be able to see the fact that Satoshi is trying to curb. Um, this is you. This is me. You want to transfer money from me, from you to me. With Bitcoin, you're just doing this transfer. But with the normal banking system today you're taking it to a third party like flutter wave pay stack and it's going to the bank and bank sends it to another middleman and it goes to you so this guy is going to charge you this guy is going to charge you this guy is going to charge you but with blockchain nobody's charging you so but right now we are facing charge fees and those fees are a result of scaling i don't want to talk about scaling right now so, but once the scaling is being solved, no fees will be attached. It's just going to be a straight reader. The only fees you're going to get are fees from, from middleman like your, your wallet, um, your, your, your wallet host or your exchanges. All right. So that's the only fees you're going to get, um, soon in the future. So, but the fees are very, very low because there's this watchdog, uh, there's this crypto watchdog. They track down any crypto. Um, exchange or wallet doing the wrong thing, they clamp them down and um, they drag them. And at the end of the day, um, they inform people and then they expose the hidden things they are doing. So, first of all, every cryptocurrency has to come with the source code. Sorry for those guys buying that coin and Zuga coin, there's no source code for it. So, you can see Bitcoin white paper, you can see bitcoin.org and see you can learn how decentralized it is so let me explain decentralized system using this my marker board so all right now what is decentralized system now is a permissionless you don't need permission it's um it's a blockchain so when you hear blockchain system you understand how it works so what is blockchain system now there are thousands of computers out there if you also want to get your computer you can come to the blockchain website and see how you can get one of your computers so what is this computer is used for these computers are thousands of them around the world the different place around the world there are thousands of them thousands and thousands of them you can buy one and you get um, paid by the blockchain network for having one now each of this computer network does this old transaction so this is you this is me and i want to transfer funds from you to me so now there should be a um there should be um a uh host where just a satellite host, for example, where all this exchange goes and comes to me, right? So, but now in this case, this is, the, these are all the hosts. So they are decentralized, scattered around the world, not with IP address. It's, I, it's so, so anonymous that you can't track this computer scattered everywhere. You can own one. I can own one, right? This is Bitcoin. Anybody can start mining. Anybody can own anything. Anybody can do anything. So right now, if you want to place a transaction to me, uh, once I, once with my wallet, this is my wallet. My wallet is holding a decentralized wallet is not holding your Bitcoin. A decentralized wallet is permitting you to your Bitcoin in the blockchain network, guys. So now this is you. I want to send some coins to me, right? So now what happens is from this point, when I say pay this guy with these addresses, then what happens is that uh, this transaction goes to the blockchain network. It picks, if I have, for example, $100, it picks $2 from this um, computer, $2, $4, $2, $2, completing it to $100. And then when it completes it, wrap it up and send it to this guy. This is our blockchain system. It's highly decentralized. All right, guys. So now if they shut down the internet, 
a lot of countries already banned um, um, cryptocurrency, but there are a lot of crypto traders still making money. Countries like Sudan. Now you can't use your bank to actually do something, but these guys are using P2Ps. That's pair to pairs. These guys are also buying crypto um, outside the country from other crypto sources using VPNs, and they're getting um, they're getting paid and they're doing transactions. So there's no way the government can ban it. The United States government have tried banning banning it. I'm going to show you guys the Trump tweet. Yeah, this, yes, this is um, the Trump tweet of from 2017 when um, try to ban it, trying to make they can't ban it. They can only scare you guys. And guess what? The Nigerian scare caused just this movement, guys. It's so so funny. The whole big scare and rant and and the whole blah 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 caused Bitcoin to fall from to fall from 38 200 from 38 200 to um, to 36 to 36 600 and now we can see that same day which can start moving backward and now back up to 39 so there is nothing that can be done about it the government are failing they are failed and uh, they are keep they're still going to keep failing and like i said i showed you guys these guys are buying bitcoin don't be deceived these, these guys are buying bitcoin so guys it's already 16 minutes on my clock right here and um, there's so much I can explain about this for you guys. But I feel you enjoyed this video. If you learn one or two things, I'm, I'm still going to keep talking about this. If you have, um, if you have um, um, questions, please come to the description and uh, come to the comment section and drop your questions. I'm going to answer them as quick as possible. And also, you can hit me up on 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 my WhatsApp. It's I'm going to put my um, WhatsApp number in the description. Hit me up. I will add it to my group and I'll tell you guys all you need to know about cryptocurrency how decentralized it is how lovely it is and now you can take advantage of it so um there's so much like i said so much i need to talk about in this video but i'm not going to say all of them today in just um 17 minutes so but right now guys i just want to say thank you for watching make sure you like and subscribe love you all